all right hello everybody and welcome we are back with some more secret world legends almost had a blank there uh we're picking up literally where we left off last night or the second before we go into blue mountain um i'm currently level 23 it looks like i'm actually i just hit 23 so uh we pretty much explored all of this or most of this yesterday uh we went from somewhere around the we went to the lighthouse the academy around here uh we hit up the amusement park a bit and then a few other places and then now we ended up all the way up here in this corner so that's pretty much where we're picking up from and i'm just gonna walk right into the blue mountain area and see what is next so yeah uh, currently I'm still also playing as a, uh, dual pistols and the blood magic abilities. So, reach character level 25. Okay. Well, looks like we're in the next area now. Uh, the last mission that we did actually mentioned this mansion and some old lady that apparently is very cranky there. So, for right now, I guess we'll just keep doing some of these quests. Going forward, I think what I'm going to do is just whatever quest uh, the main story is, like, I'm just going to uh, do that until I reach a point where it's like, oh, do, uh, you need to hit level 25 or whatever. Then I'll stop, I'll go do those quests, like side things, and then I'll go back to the main story once it's available again. Um, just for the sake of like time, because it, it looks like there's a lot of areas, a lot of the time that you don't actually have to go to. So, um, for the sake of time and, and other stuff, that's most likely what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to open up this. We only get one a day. That's all right. Bag of third eye fragments. I think that's the only way you can get them actually from that thing. Unless if there's another way that I wasn't aware of, there might be. I'm not too sure. Uh, follow the blood, the blood trail of the survivor. So really there's a survivor here somewhere. I'm going to try to go down there and get that Franklin, uh, thing. We've still been doing a lot of damage, so, like, right now, even though I'm just, like, I'm fighting enemies that are level 23, still feel, like, pretty confident for the most part. Uh, I, I don't know if it's just, like, generally the game is pretty easy all the way through, or if it's... Uh, the build that I have right now, I'm not sure. I'm actually going to queue up for this too, the uh, Hell Raised, because I never did that either. So, went to bed at 9.30, woke up at 8, played Final Fantasy 14 till 6.30. I got stuff done. Oh my god, Pat. <laughs> well, that's good stuff right there. I mean, that was basically me on the weekends too, so I hear that. Yo, hella stuff done. Yo, what's going on, Yobex? Hello, hello. I found a bunch of uh, dog tags from these guys. So I just handed them in. I lost track of time, not gonna lie. Dude, that's the best. When you have days like that, like days off, and you can just get lost in it. That's so nice. That's why I like waking up, uh, <laughs> get, catching up to you, got, better watch yourself. I got time. Hey man, my, my subscription is still active. If I gotta jump back in, I gotta do what I gotta do. Just kidding. But, uh, wait, did I complete that quest? I guess I did. Um. 
I really hope that we see something about the servers. I mean, what they said they mentioned, did they mention that they're going to be talking about them in the podcast that they had recently? Is that what it was? Or is it something else? Sarge. Got a military laptop. Hack. But yeah, it was beautiful. That's what I love about weekend streams because like that's literally what I do. I'll, I'll wake up at like um whatever time <laughs> and then I'll just do that all day. Like early in the morning, even though like 9:30 technically isn't like super early. Something before the end of the month, I think. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, we got time. The one thing I'm not too worried about is because uh, this Friday, hold on, I'm going to play a cutscene in a second here. Enemy of my enemy. But uh, I mean, this Friday we have God of War, so that will kind of hold me busy. Christ, kid, I can see your lips moving. This is all Uncle Sam could muster up? You ought to know better than most that it's not about numbers. You got, well, what is it that you got? Magic wand? Voodoo? Well, we got guns. Guns with special bullets. Hell bullets yeah, that brother. Open you up from the inside out. Hey, Kona. Bullets that bring on pain and fire and darkness. You got magic. Magic bullets. We got guns. Straight out of the Pentagon's darkest dungeons. <laughs> Karen Olson, Department of Homeland Security. Hi there. Oh. How are you? Great. Let's take a walk, shall we? I didn't We're even say hi. We're extremely excited to have you guys on board. Extremely excited. United against, etc. An enemy of my enemy, and so on. Couldn't be happier. But we don't want to end up in a, a situation. We like to keep our Kabbalist relations civil. It can happen to the best of us, you know, combat situation, tense nerves, and bam! We have to deal with the trimensional rift, things oozing through, tentacles, that sort of thing. I just need to make absolutely sure that we're on the same page. We need to keep out of each other's ways, leave the war to the professionals, etc. I can't give you an order because, you know, obviously, but... Let's just say that any yeah, civilian we're part of the interference and we give you the orders. activities on this island will be treated as a very real and present threat to the security of our homeland. It could end up backfiring in a bad way when you don't have the authorization from Homeland Security to operate ab-grade military software on U.S. soil, even if it is in Maine. Oh, but I hear Egypt is really nice this time of year, and you know, we don't like to get involved over there, so it's all on you guys. Best of luck. Our only line of defense is those filthy orangutans. Goddamn foul-smelling apes is what they are. And I'm not sure how oh. long they'll last. But you know what they say. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Unfortunately, we got no lines of communication. We don't speak monkey. But I know you folks are in touch with Gaia. She doesn't even speak, sir. I do. The weird thing is, I just picked out the quest from him, but he wasn't even the one that talked to me. It was this Karen Olsen. Study the tactical map. Bravo, Charlie, Covert Ops, Sasquatch, Delta, question mark. Locate the Sasquatch Glade. And unfortunately, we can't pick up any other, I don't think they, yeah. You can only pick up one action slash sabotage mission at a time, so we can't pick up any other quests from them at the moment. But we go down here into the woods, the creepy woods, we might be able to find one. There's a lot of traps out here. Nice. There's another lore book down here. I love how much XP these things give you. 800. It's almost becoming a thousand. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Very good. Vault of XP. Uh, oh man. I need to go up here some, somehow. Some way, somehow. 
All right, that works. The big guy. Oh, Sasquatch. Hey, what up, man? Oh, shit. What the hell? Make contact with the Sasquatch chief. He's not hostile. Are you the Sasquatch? Sas oh my god, I can't speak. Huh? Oh, he's pointing. There's a whole bunch of them. A cob cocoon. Enter the cave. Cob abyss. All right. You can sell unneeded items to other players using the auction house or to vendor vendors in the adventure zone. Explore the Akab Abyss. Don't mind if I do. There are a lot of moments in this game where it makes me think of DC Universe Online at times. The hell is this? <gasps> oh no, he's a prisoner! They got him! How the hell did they get a Sasquatch? Free seven Sasquatch victims? you out he thanked me what a nice guy oh, shoot. I got stuck The one's free. It's two out of seven. I see another one all the way down there. All these caves. I feel like I'm going through uh, Skyrim right now into like district, Daedric, old Daedric like ruins or like things like that. What's max level in this? I believe the max level is 50. And then it kind of like does the thing that like every other game and turns into like gear score. People still do raids for this game too. Surprisingly. Um, every time I go to like the hub area, there's like people spamming stuff about queuing up together and uh yeah things like that my my thing is for me for this game at least is once i hit max level and i complete this story that's gonna be about it for me um because there's not really any other reason Oh god, okay, okay. Alright, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Okay, now we're good. Assuming you're coming back to this after God of War? Pretty much. I want to try to, like, 
like my thing is like i'm treating this game as if tomorrow they're like we're shutting down servers ex ex uh immediately yeah <laughs> even honestly even if they open up final fantasy servers i would wait to return until after i finish this game which in reality um i don't know what i'm gonna do for saturday yet i might do like 50 percent god of war 50 percent this depending on like how i'm feeling um friday i'll definitely at least start god of war and then we'll see Cause like I kind of I don't I don't like jumping around like that, but at the same time it's like the first day that God of War is out, so I don't know. And I'm not like right there for completing it, but I'm probably pretty close at this point. Well, not not really, but. But we'll see. Essentially, though, if they do the transfer, the server transfers for Final Fantasy 14, um, if they open them back up, I'm done this game and I'm still working on God of War. That's fine. Um, I'll, I'll like make one or two days where I'll play Final Fantasy or something, maybe. Um, well, I completely missed that guy. But I'll at least get my server transfer out the way. So that way I'm there. And honestly, even if I gave you time to uh, to catch up, I mean, that would be fine with me too. If they do server transfers before you get back uh, on, you're gonna have to remind me what server you're transferring to. Yeah, exactly, Brynhildr. Um, but yeah. Return to... <laughs> Yobex is waiting for that one. But yeah, we got everything here. Just got a level 90 culinarian making everyone raid food. Oh my god. I want to be a chef too. I'm just gonna, you know what, 2022, I'm just gonna be a full time uh, Final Fantasy 14 uh, streamer and uh, I'm gonna become a VTuber too. Become a, a cat boy VTuber. And just there, there it goes. I just need to have my model designed. Perfect. And you know what? It works out perfect. It works out perfectly. You know why? Because I'm streaming on YouTube and Face, or yeah, YouTube. Twitch and Facebook and you know all of Twitch is loving it right now but YouTube is loving it you know what's going on Loki VTuber Ooh. <laughs> what's up Loki how's it going <laughs> I sound like a dying cat right there uh, but yeah I mean we could make it happen <laughs> um i don't know where else to go now i guess i mean like i could go back over here again over to the sergeant dude i need to hit level 25 once i hit level 25 then we are good to go for the next mission Oh my god, wait, remember the, uh, oh my god, the Final Fantasy fourteen uh, plugin that make, that makes all of your chat turn into uwu speak? 
Oh my god. <laughs> Doing alright, just in the shadows watching a game I haven't seen it played in ages. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> uh yeah, I've been hearing that from a lot of people, but it's still around, you know? It's still technically still alive right now, so. I never got to fully play through it um, back in the day. I don't really have a lot going on. I wanted to play an MMO because I'm still off like the MMO high of Final Fantasy. Even though I didn't finish, um, I'm only on Stormblood, but I'm, I'm waiting until the queues die down and everything and do a server transfer before I go back. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Never really got uh, got to properly try out Legends update. Neither did I. I mean, like, I think I did for like maybe a day. I created a character, but I never got past level two. Then I just stopped and I was like, all right, that's I got the gist of it. And then here I am again. And now I absolutely love the the environment and world that they built. You read all that crap about government cover ups, conspiracies. Damn right. It's a cover up. We all had too much to lose if the world knew what was going on. You think vampires could bleed virgins if everyone decorated their homes with garlic? Shit, soldier, we had deals. Signed, sealed, and delivered. They what? don't apply anymore. From what I hear, Turvey's gone topsy all around the globe, from Wichita to Wallachia. And I'm not sure I like our odds this time. <clears throat> Sir, uh, excuse me for a second. May I? Thanks. Listen, the captain is old school, in a good way. Of course he is. we're fighting the same war, you know, like... 100% K-Kona certified. Is, that's not how we operate. Not when it comes to matters of the extra-normal and paracult. We have to keep things on the QT. Sub Rosa, fewer people in the know, fewer people know. And you should appreciate that, being part of the benevolent conspiracy. The bugs are starting to gain the upper hand out here. Take away the Queen Bee, however. And they run around like headless chickens in a coop. I understand that it may not look like we have the situation under control or the right people for the job, but the whole island is under quarantine. On the other side of that fog, Sounds we have familiar. enough firepower to wipe the island clean. The infection will not spread. Believe me, we will do whatever it takes to stop the invasion right here. Whatever it takes. Too real. We've got to use our superior training and skills to our advantage. We identify high priority targets and we weed them out one by one, leaving the chickens ripe for the plucking. I can't believe these sheep actually believing that these vampires exist. Unbelievable. Actually believe it vampires exist here and there's zombies? What? <laughs> okay. Examine the laptop for information on covert operations. Graphics of this game has aged weirdly to me. There's some parts where it looks like really good and then there's some parts it's kind of like, eh. Some parts I don't mind it though. I mean like, I don't know. I don't know how much of a, a upgrade it received but like i mean so right now with me running down the street it th i feel like it doesn't look too bad but there's definitely some moments where it's kind of like all right you can kind of see the age on it it has a little bit of issues here and there too like i get some weird stuttering but um it's not like horrible yeah the cutscene. <laughs> Yeah, no, I definitely see it in the cutscene sometimes. The skin, the skin on a lot of characters gets a little weird. Uh, recover the thumper from a backpack. Recover the uh, renaissance. Quick access inventory update. Resonance. Where's the backpack? Here's one. Quick access inventory updated.
Where's the final one? I see a body over here. Thumper. Nice. Move deeper into the asylum grounds. Try the thumper. Uh, shoot. I don't know which one's the thumper. Wand. Mine. I had to swap them. Kill nine brood scouts lowered by the thumper. I got this. I got this. I will still say for a free to play game, I'm still pretty satisfied with what you're getting. Um, I did become a, a patron for the game because I mean, just to kind of get whatever the experience is as a patron, which is only like 12 bucks uh, for 30 days. But even with that, I started out playing this game and it, wasn't bad. If I had all the time in the world, I could see myself going back and playing the other factions. But I most likely won't because for the most part, the story is the same other than like your main antagonist, I think. And also your handler. But there are a lot of quests in different areas that I've already skipped over, so there is that too, technically. Alright, we need two more. One more. Make your way inside the asylum ruins. Looks cozy here. What have you been playing these days, Loki? What you been up to? Place a resonance mine uh, on the east side, the north side, and the south side. Oh god. I've fallen back into a bunch of runescape, but as always, everything. I hear that. I hear that. There's been- there was a time last year that I was really close to, uh, to going back into RuneScape. I was really close, but then I was like, all right, in reality, how much of this are you actually gonna play? And then how much of this do you actually want to dive into this? Cause this is a very, 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 very long point if I did it. And then I was kind of like, eh, I'm good. Yo, what's going on, Wayne? How's it going? Good evening. Go to the center of the asylum. Looking forward to Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2, I'm very excited for. Um, for a while, it's kind of like, eh, like, whatever. But I'm getting more excited as it gets closer. Uh, Crossfire X, same. Same, as long as it eventually comes to PC. I really hope that it does. Um, I don't know why they would keep it on Xbox only. But I guess we'll see. 
Lost Ark and Elden Ring. Lost Ark looks pretty cool. I played the beta a bit, had a fun time with that. Elden Ring, Elden, Elden Ring looks interesting. So we'll see. Um, I mean, for a lot of people, I know it's, people are gonna love it, but I don't know if it's gonna be my type of game just yet. So I'm waiting on that. Oh yeah, and Rainbow Six Extraction being on Xbox Game Pass. That is a very cool deal. And I think I'm probably going to at least try it over the weekend once that releases. Because it it, it looks kind of fun. I, I don't know if it's like crazy, like, oh my god, next level, next generation. But at the same time, I mean, it looks like, it, like a good time. So, we'll see. Yeah, makes no sense considering other Xbox games are on PC same day nowadays. Yeah, I wonder. I know they're doing some sort of like beta. I don't know if it's just like an Xbox only beta. And then like a month or two later, they'll drop it on PC. But like it would make perfect sense if it all came out on PC at the same time. But they haven't said anything about PC yet, I don't think. As far as I'm aware. Uh, Brood Matriarch. Need to use this checkmate to kill it. Die. Oh my god. Uh, Crossfire X, uh, thought Crossfire X was being uh, made long before Xbox Game Pass took off, so I don't think PC was an option for the exclusivity deal. Maybe. Still enjoying Secret World? Yeah, it's it's still a, a pretty good time. I've been enjoying it still. Trying to make as much progress as I can and kind of focus on the main story a little bit more. Only PC evidence is that they're having trailers on Xbox Crossfire X or on the official Crossfire X channel having keyboard button prompts. F to use R to reload. No way. That's funny. I love it when I, I remember when they announced um, Final Fantasy 7 on PC. That's one of those where I was like, like I was watching the trailer and I was like, oh, press F, oh, left click, oh, space. Like it's a dead giveaway then. It's like, okay, well now we know. But if that's the case, then yeah, it's, it's almost like at that rate it's confirmed. It doesn't really make any sense not to put it on PC either, because if the other version of Crossfire X is so popular, like, and at once, it once was the world most popular, like, first person shooter game, it just makes sense to put that one on too. Like the crap out of the old Crossfire. Yeah, I hope it hits PC. I feel like that's one of those games that 110% should be on Game Pass and PC for like everything. Search the area for clues. It's a, it's a perfect Game Pass game too. Speaking of, even though it's not technically Game Pass, uh, Humble Bundle finally announced today that they're going back to their original pricing, uh, which for a while they, they created three pricing tiers. Um, 
but now they're finally going back to the original $12. At one point it was like 15 for three games, like 18 or 17 for five games, and then it was like $20 for for all of them each month. But now they're finally going back to $12 standard fee, all games unlocked. Yeah, not really looking forward to cramping my hands. Shooters with controller really isn't my thing. But also really want to play it. I really want to play it too. Um, but I don't know if I could do it. I mean, honestly, like I've reached the point where if I play a shooter, like I have to play it on mouse and keyboard. Like I can't go back to a controller. I, I tried it with Battlefield. Battlefield 2042 when they uh, had like the, it came out on Xbox Game Pass the day before for a 10 hour trial. I played it for about two hours and it's just, it's so hard to aim so hard i can't believe i used to play like that honestly humble is kind of useless now that every game that comes in there is in either game pass ea access or ub plus kind of free couple uh weeks from the epic games but yeah for sure now at least you own it. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Except for the Epic Games stuff. Epic Games stuff is really good. Um, I go back and forth on Humble. I think they've, they've really... Yeah. I so I've been a humble games person for a while but like at this point with the amount of stuff that game pass has that they're constantly cycling in and out I don't care so like I'm kind of at the point where like I I'm probably going to cancel it but I keep pausing my subscription and slowly ride it out Just if a service goes down, I worry about it. But as of right now, it's nothing to be concerned. I feel the same way. If you really, there are some games that, that become Humble Bundle that are good games. Um, like right now, I mean, for me, the uh, the new latest Mafia game is a part of the, uh, the Mafia 1 remake. That's part of Hum Humble Bundle. Now, granted, you could probably have gotten that game at one point for like 15 bucks. But at the same time, you get all the other ones too. I don't think we're ever going to see um, a service go down though. Not with Game Pass or anything. I mean, not within the next like enough time to be worried about it but i'm all for it dude if 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 steam came out tomorrow and was like pay us 150 bucks a year but gain access to all of our games bro pay 250 dollars a year but gain access to all could you imagine if steam came out with a subscription service like Valve doesn't need that money, but could you imagine they would lose so much money? I don't, I can see it for some games that don't have cross star, which is silly in its own right. The Brock collected not having a steam. Yeah, that that's one thing I never understood. The Brock Galactic. Um like why I I never understood how that works. If you're on the same platform. Um the one thing that actually did that too 
was um, it's a very odd one, but Wreckfest. Wreckfest was on uh, EA. Um, it was on EA Desktop or EA Play, and I got it through there. But then I was going and looking around trying to find servers to play and there was like nobody playing but then I checked Steam and it was like oh there's like 5,000 people playing at the time so I'm like what the hell like what it, what is going on but it was doing that same thing where EA Play's version of Wreckfest is different than what you could get on uh on Steam so I was kind of like what the oh, Jesus Christ that guy just wrecked me Jesus Christ so I was like what the hell but yeah apparently that was a thing where am I I died I think that's like the second time I've died I always kind of see that as, I mean, like, so honestly, that and then also, like, just not having crossplay in general nowadays. I feel like there's so many games that would still be able to benefit if they had it, even if they're older, but they don't have it. And it's just like, I don't know. That's not my body. This is my body. Pick up the radio. Quick access inventory updated. Chivalry 2 has crossplay, but not having crossplay. Uh... Not having crossplay parties and no server browser for console. Yes. <laughs> Radar module activated. Chivalry 2 is a great game, too. I didn't know that, though. Um, I've only played Chivalry 2 solo, but Item yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Search for the soldier who sent the signal. You have cross play, but you can't party up with your friend on different platforms. That makes no sense to me. People complain. And the dev's response was, we didn't expect people would want that. Bro, I don't understand. Like, you could probably ask anybody Dude, like I get it, developers have a lot on their plate. Like obviously they they got a whole lot of stuff, but sometimes it's like little things like that. Like I feel like you could be in any room and they'd be like, hey, so we're gonna have cross play. Okay, cool. So like people can group up together and like play the game. No, we're just gonna have cross play. So you're gonna be able to play cross platform, but they can't play together in a group unless if they magically get match made together yeah oh, okay that's fine yeah that's good push it out like just like that nobody's gonna want that anyways like bro what then say you didn't have time to implement it oh no not oh I didn't know Let me go back to Sarge. Oh wait, no. Uh, wait. It says adjusted. Radar module activated. And since they have been supposedly working on it, but the game has been out for six months, been out for a while. No more word on it since launch. Ah. <sighs> you know, 2022. I hope we get a lot of. Um, good games and stuff. 
examine the note like from the from triple a developers because right now it's it's honestly like really embarrassing for a lot of developers like i still had my fun with battlefield but the amount of features missing like to me it's just like i'm not even gonna touch the game until a year from now and technically i never the nice thing is technically i never paid for the game i paid for ea access or ea play uh worse than battlefield 2142 where is this body oh there it is And then after December 12th, they all go on lot on holiday leave. I don't think de dev, uh, devs deserve that, but like don't release your game just before, especially not when it's in that state. Exactly. But like, it just sucks because it's like people had to know that things aren't ready. But then they, they're they like, it's holiday season. We have to get this out now or like our margins are going to be extremely off for the next year, ne next fixed school year, whatever the hell. Are you ever going to go back to Final Fantasy 14? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when they open up world transfer servers or world server transfer, world home world transfers, Again, yes, I will be going back. And then we'll be working on Shadowbringers and uh, Endwalker for sure. At least they buffed the weapon accuracy across the board because that was rough. That was 100% the holiday season release rush. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad in that. But then like, look at where we're about to be at right now with uh, Put George Turner to rest, put Ellie Turner to reg, Gage Turner, Joanna Turner, and Nick Turner. We have to kill the whole family. Jesus. Um. I totally forget what I was about to say right now. going to say across the board mm. oh but uh so yeah holiday rush yada 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 um but here we are look at all the games that are about to drop in uh, february like the list is li the, the month is literally so packed where it's like it's i don't know it's gonna be insane and then you know like i'm sure march and stuff There's a lot of good stuff potentially coming out this year if uh, if they stick to their release dates. Which some of them I even completely forgot about and some of them I'm like, yeah, okay. Like if it comes out and it's good, sure. Radar module activated. This way. Item located. There it is. 
Oh yeah. There would definitely be some delays, but <laughs> it's only the third year of the plague. Exactly. Kill swallow skin. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go hand this in. Hand this, uh, these dog tags in to this guy. They keep losing a lot of their people. Yeah, we'll see though. I'm curious what games will. I'm I'm pretty excited for for Dying Light too. Um, I know that they put out the thing about the 500 hours, but luckily it sounds like the main story itself is going to be like more than 20 to 30. And then extra side stuff, if you do like a lot of the side missions, it's like 80. Which is, is fine, that's better. People stressing about that though. Yeah, I get that too. The hell is that thing? Me do this. Nice. All right. So now and put this and fuse this into that. Bada bing, bada boom. You got him. Wait, can you use these up to upgrade them? Oh, you can. I didn't know that. It's not okay to 100%. Just play it until you no longer enjoy it. It's not. It's okay not to 100%. Just play until you no longer enjoy it. I'll go collect a boar's arse for an unnamed NPC 23. <laughs> True. <laughs> but yeah. Same. I've never really, I mean, like I've done some 100% in games, but it's, it's a lot of time. Probably one of the only games I've ever really done a 100% for uh, was back in the day for Grand Theft Auto 5 on like Xbox 360 just for the sake of it because I was like oh my god got this there's all these Easter eggs like there's all this other stuff that's like one of the only things I ever did 100% for glyph a glyph does this count it does Whoa. Oh, it increases the glyphs max level. Ew. Okay, now I see. Got the alien stuff done? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the alien uh, quest. Level 24 mission? All right, let's pick this up. I'll the right priorities. Think, this isn't my first brush with the supernatural. Far Same thing it. with like uh, Our unit has seen some action. doing the, like all the stranger Barbera missions and stuff. Rio in 08. Last month we spent a good four days knee deep in New Yorker excrement, hunting a flock of incubi that got separated from their mistress. They turned feral. Did you know that? Yes, I. They lose control. Used to be you could parley with the succubi, avoid too much bloodshed. The rules have changed. There's no negotiating with the enemy anymore. Succubi. And. That's not what we're suggesting, sir, but I'm not sure that taking our limited resources into a mono a mono testosterone fueled battle royale. This is not our brief. 
And I shouldn't have to remind you who's running the operation. Even if we can't get a signal through the fog, it's the para division. I've got scars all over. And I'm not just talking about the ones that bleed. But if I've learned one thing in the past 40 years, it's that they bleed too. Every single one of them. Yes, they do, sir. But so do we. And we bleed out a lot faster than they... Ugh! I don't even know why I fucking bother with this fucking... What the hell are you looking at? Ah, just trying to help. Examine the tactical map. Find fire team Bravo. Oh wait, we just need to go to them. Oh, they're over there again. By Kraken Point. Some point this year, I'll do. I'm I'm planning on hopefully doing a playthrough of uh, Kingmaker. Finally, wanted to play that game for a while now, and then I don't know about Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate Three, I want to return to at some point. Same thing with Neverwinter. I also want to return to Neverwinter, and then there's also Guild Wars Two that's releasing on Steam, so I want to try that out on Steam. At the end of the month, we'll get to witness the the Pokemon train wreck. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I, I honestly didn't even know really much about that game. Uh, I just recently saw it in a, a video that was like, here's some games coming at the this year or towards this month. And I was like, oh, interesting. Yep, Guild Wars 2 expansion pack. I um, didn't even think of that earlier. I so I've only ever really played up until level ten in Guild, War Guild Wars Two. So uh, I did pick up the expansions because it was like fifteen bucks. Um, but yeah, too many games. I hear that. Many games, not enough time. That's okay, though. I guess. Move forward and kill the Trey Grey Ruger Lord. Local bounty detected. Initiating. Gross. Sea Weaver. I don't know if these enemies count, but let's try it. Incubator. Oh, they do count. Okay. Ah, oh. and then there's also the other thing that I'm very excited for too is um, Star Wars. Star Wars: The Old Republic is getting their class revamp system. So uh, that I am very excited for, and I'm finally I'm gonna do try to do a playthrough of each class at some point. At least up to level 50. Oh yes, it looks very cool. I am extremely excited for it. And the thing that I love most about it that I, I think I'm really excited for is the fact that there's you're going to be able to swap between two. So you, you technically select two class or gameplay uh, layouts. I forget what they're calling them. They're calling like not you'll have the origin story selection 
but then you'll have uh, your gameplay something. Um, but it looks really cool, so I, I'm very excited for that. Very, very excited. That was supposed to be out by now, and I was they delayed it like a week before, but he's talking about Star Wars The Old Republic again. Indeed, I am. Yep. <laughs> Very excited for that. The Drug Lord. Kill the Drug Lord. Nice. Find Fire Team Charlie. Fire, fire Team Charlie in round. I'm so excited for that. There's so much. And then you know what else? There's a lot of very good simulator games coming out this year, supposedly. Like by Playway. Some very interesting ones. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's some interesting ones. Actually, I'm going to go around up onto this hill. A remnant, of course. Edgar Allen, clear 25. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's probably clear 25 Ravens. Wait, what? Uh, no, that's a mil the mini minor military base over there. Do we still have this quest? Yeah, we do. Rude sign. I'll pick it up. Follow the directions of the arrows. Which arrows? Um, hello? I see plates. I don't see any arrows. What do you mean? Once to the woods, perhaps it would be. Ooh. We got a dungeon, boys. Still debating on whether I want to try Secret World. Really enjoying Final Fantasy XIV, but this looks like a lot of fun. I mean, my only thing that I would say is Secret World, we don't know how long it's going to be around for. But if you're also really enjoying Final Fantasy XIV, then stick with that. All right, we're back in. Oh, Jesus. Hotel. Dungeon mission. Here we go. Survey the surroundings. Pick up the lore, boys. And there's some more lore right here. I guess we just got to do this. It's probably going to go pretty quick because it's what, 25, 20, 23, I'm 24. Oh, sweet deliverance. You have come. Help us. Please deliver us from our enemies. Time is running out. Wicker is here. Ah. So this is the guy that I followed all over London and other places and used his uh, pentagram, pentagram to summon his spirit and find out whatever clues that he left. So I'm excited for this to see what happened to him. 
I think this is the area that he entered. Ouch, 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 ouch. What the hell? Okay. I didn't know about that. <laughs> Going to poof. It was good hanging out. Hey, Loki. Thanks for stopping by. Um, it was good chatting with you again. And I'll see you, see you around whenever, when you're on stream or whenever you stop by again. As always, I appreciate you and I appreciate it. All right, I'm just going to run through. Run. Three. Go, go, go! Run! Kill me! Honestly, though, like, literally, how are you supposed to stop that? The hell? There's a book back there. I couldn't get the book. I got hit by every single one I know. I still can't run. What the hell? It's a, it says like as if I'm still in combat. Wait, how did he get that? I can't. I'm stuck in combat. I wanted to get it too. Hold on. Problem solved. Oh, now I can run. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Keep running. Oh God, go the other way. Other way, other way, other way. have to search for Theodore Wicker. Mr. Theodore. Got him. Nice. Oh no, I've reached the maximum amount of skill points. Uh, I have to use some. Wait, there's some right here. Uh, 
Uh, crap, I have to use skill points. Okay. There's another lore, but it's over there. This guy's taking so much damage, what the hell? Was unnecessarily hard. I can't open it now. I opened it for a second and then it. Oh, there we go. Genius. You know, sometimes you just gotta maneuver. You gotta hop around. There we go. <laughs> Come on, boys, you can do it. Nice. Slag cauldron. Safe footing in the heat of the slag pit. The foundry brute is king. Uh oh, he sees me. This is interesting. Nice. Uh-oh. He's on fire. He's going to die. No. Died. It's okay, he'll catch up. All right, peace and sounds good, Pat. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Also, have a good one, man. Enjoy. Make your progress. Adios. Waves. Wait, this seems promising. Ah, okay.
Nice. It was actually almost taking me to 25. Great, more of these. Ah, uh, this should be fun. What, where is he going? All right, I'm just gonna run this way. I just ran past it. I think we're almost there because the tower is back there. Hurry! Come to me. Before the demon army sends you out, they loathe all Wicker has done. Go, 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 get out of here. Once all was perfect, like you, but it was left to rot in the vile glass house of its planters. So cruel. Making pretty good progress still. Is there one all the way back there? Good find. You know what? Uh, I mean, at that rate, you should expect the one to be back there too. I have a feeling there's going to be one up here. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Oh. Here we go. There 
Very nice. I think we have to stop them from getting to her. Oh boy. These guys are pretty cool with their elemental abilities. Finisher! Nice. I feel like that would be pretty hard if uh, we weren't the right level for all that. Looking like infamous with those electric abilities. I would love to see Infamous brought to PC one day. That would be so nice. I don't know if it'll ever happen though. I'm assuming it probably wouldn't. That game's probably gone. Unless if they made another one and then brought that one to PC. seems like it's about to be a boss area all right go I'm ready if they're ready Oh shit, there he is. Be our savior. Be our savior. There's Theodore. Demonic crystal. How do we separate it?
There it is. Come into it. He's almost dead. There it is. Still 25 health spawn. Cutscene? Theodore! For me, I presume. I wouldn't want to seem ungrateful, but emotion is a phantom itch now. We are not of the same species, you and I. I have no nostalgia for Earth. I cut it out. My body rejected it. Do you know, it was the soul I stripped away which allowed me to commit such awful crimes. Psychopathy is a quite human trait. Now I am beyond the cage of humanity. I am rarefied. This dimension has worked a great alchemy on me. And in return, I mean to restore it to greatness. Every petrified forest must start from a single manganese seed. You're feeling short of breath. The atmosphere is oxidizing your blood, turning it to metal. In my realm, that which does not make you stronger... ...kills you. Go back to your world. Go back with my thanks. When present matters are concluded, I'll see to it that the rifts are welded closed. You have my word. You, me, on a beach of razor fossils. The vultures of Lang plucking your nerve endings like a fabulous instrument. Call me sometime. Okay. Give me the loot, give me the loot. But did we get this crystal? We did, we did.
GG. That one was pretty good. That was cool. Back to Blue Mountain. Oh, let's hand in this. Almost 25. Almost. All right, so we are headed back to finding uh, Fire Team Charlie. Then we also had this quest, but like I'm still confused. Oh, the arrow is that the arrow pointing that way? So very different from Final Fantasy 14 Dungeons, indeed. Very different. <laughs> uh, actually, we need to go this way. I think it's better if we go down here and then go to the right. Ash Forest. Some very spooky areas all the time here. Why do they never send enough medics? Gather medical supplies and gather sentry gun spare parts. All right. There's one. There's so many more parachutes than there are what seems to be people here. Now we just need sentry turret gun parts. Um There we go. Deliver supplies. Decompose Kodak. I think that's somewhere up there. actually have to defend this location anyways. She takes so long to die. The heck? Watch out! 
Everybody Watch fall out. in. Oh no. Oh no, no. Got him. Whew. A little close. Find fire team Delta's last known location. Oh, geez. We are doing all types of uh you're one man out here. Finding all these fire teams, trying to help them get back. Ugh. I'm gonna drop this other quest that I have. Come on. Gotta be a wait. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so find fire team Delta's last known location. It's gonna be over there. I might kill whatever this one is. Rusted machinery. That's that guy. Ah, eh, you know what? I won't. Jesus. Bane. Okay. Hold on, give it three seconds. Two, one. The hell? She can resurrect bodies. Okay. What's that down there? Follow the trail of drog corpses to try to find fire team Delta. I just killed her. Now I have to, I gotta kill her again. I have to kill her again to avenge them. Of course. Wait, what happens if I, so if I do shift V, okay, so you can Q for that one again. Polaris, do that. Room 13, darkness war, the Ankh, hell fallen. Facility, hell eternal slaughterhouse. These are a level 50. Wait, I think she's back. Yes, she is. Nice. There we go. 25? Almost. So close. Really? We're like right there. Right there. Yeah, I'll go down this way. There's some sort of quest down here. The quarry.
I'm like one XP away from being the next level. There it is. Fusion unlocked. You can combine two max level items uh, the same type to create a new item of a higher power. Sweet. And we've been promoted. Once again. You're identifying and actioning the wind themes out there. That saves everyone so much time and energy. Except for the losers. Alright. Wait, where'd the thing go? Do we automatically get a new piece? Sometimes they give you one. If not, that's fine. Let me see what consumables there are. Oh, those are so cheap. Essence, cosmetic. Oh, you can refill your potions? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, really? Your anima essence degrades with each death. Your current amina essence. Anima Essence is 100%. Uh, when it reaches zero, you will suffer large penalties to your combat efficiency. I didn't know that. Okay, so we want to go back to Cosmetic. Hold on. Can I get up there like this? Almost. I got this. Ready? It's like right there. Man, I don't think we're getting it like that. I'm just gonna run around this way. Weeping Queen. I actually saw that, that person yesterday. Okay, so now we can focus the main quest, which I'm going to do. Um, I just want to try to go back over to this little house here. I don't know. If, I think there might be there. There might be some sort of spawn point here or whatever this was. Actually, it's like a farm. Thought it was a house. Military map. There's a huge Sasquatch, infe infected Sasquatch. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me go here. I'm gonna do these real quick. Oh, 
Oops. Actually, I didn't mean to use that. Okay, let's do upgrades real quick. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's fine. Critical empowerment results. Okay, and then now, who is that? Which piece was that? This piece? Now I can fuse this. Get that. And then, next piece we need to fuse is this one. I'm gonna start leveling up these. Symbol. More. Okay. Agent weapon. Why is that so cheap? What the hell? Sixty nine. 70. Uh, okay, so I needed a talisman. Not finger. Is it a luck talisman? No. Neck? No. Bolts? No, we have one of those waist. Is it a waist one? No. Wrist. Is it a wrist one? I think it is a wrist. Actually, I don't know. Is it a wrist? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's the top right one. Um. Filter like that. Whenever you hit an enemy who is exposed or uh you have 25% chance to deal 92 uh, that the restore health the hit damage back to them luminous sigil I might take this one. Yeah, let's buy this. Ah, oh, shoot. I always forget that you have to go like this. Flame. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we need to go find Eleanor Franklin. See our house, from what it looks like. I think this is the lady that lives in the mansion, if I remember. CDC. <laughs> There's a CDC truck outside our house. There's a lore book on the first floor. That was a bunch of cats. Well, hello, More cats. Leia. Hello there. Complete the 
mission ghosts in into the darkness for Eleanor Frank Franklin. What a nice house. How cozy. Especially during these times. Uh, how do I get up there? You're not Eleanor, right? Oh, I know it is Eleanor. Oh, I was reading Mimeric. I thought that Mimeric was them, not that. Okay. The haunting. And we have this one. Let's do this one. The ghosts into the at, er, and the darkness. We get by in peace and sadness, the ghosts and I. Like in an old folks home, I suppose. We keep each other company. The ones up in the mine, well, that's a different story. A real horror story. They weren't just Ed's crew. They were our friends. My soirees were the talk of Kingsmith. A touch of New York glamour to the sticks. That's why I had the pool dug, you know. And no, I don't mean the kind of party where you leave your keys in a bowl. <laughs> oh. I know they still linger and suffer. Must be lonely under those old, cold rocks. Back in the day, when I would still leave the house, I tried to silence those voices. I called every priest, every psychic and paranormal investigator in Maine, and not one of them stayed overnight. Even the Indians and that little Ami girl who offered their native mumbo jumbo. At the time, I thought, the nerve of it, considering the part they played in the whole mess. But I suppose they were only trying to help. Sometimes when the wind comes, I hear those boys at the mine singing. I can never quite make out the words. Okay. Them in the old newspaper on Mrs. Franklin's desk. So they closed the mine. Go to the Blue Ridge mine. All the way over here. It's funny, it's actually right where I was at, I think. Yep. Literally right here. God. Sir, I'm sorry this was an accident. I didn't mean to bother you. I was just looking for some books to read. And then I ended up right there. How do we get up there? What's that it? Wait, this is rusted machinery. It's funny, I was going to fight him earlier. All right, that works. I got this. I got this. There we go. Told you I got it.
All right, let's go inside here. Take headlamp. Quick access inventory updated. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna need it while in there. Solo instance. All right, let's do it. Ugh, my eye is like bothering me all of a sudden. Why is there a level 50 monster in here? Don't get caught by him. Been held under so long, I ain't even got the memory of the man I was. Whoa. No loving memory. Okay to picture oh Jesus. Of Chuck Thompson's family. Unstable dynamite. not step on any of that or that I did not mean to roll like that. Wait, it says there's one in here. Oh, there it is. Christmas 1970, place the picture by Chuck Thompson's remains. I wonder if it'll release him. Okay, now we need to find this guy's. Here it is. Got to run back in there. Okay, Bill, uh, Billy Woodrow's whiskey flask. I don't know which side this guy comes to. Looks like that side. Let's 
shoot. There it is. I don't know how you get up there. Find and use dynamite to locate. So what, do we just go back and pick up some dynamite then? Ah, uh, there's some right there. I wonder if it's a different type of dynamite. Wait, is this dynamite? Wait, no, it's just lighting up yellow. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna run past this guy. Cause he didn't attack me last time and I almost like... Yeah, I don't know. Can I pick up the unstable dynamite? Oh, here's some. Quick access inventory updated. Excuse me, coming through. Oh God, he's attacking. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Damn. Wait, but we used it, right? Yeah, it did clear it. Nice. Ed took the fall for Jimmy's temper. We all fell. Seems to me you ought to square things up with Mr. Rigsby. Find Jimmy Rig Rigsby's remains. Oh, uh, maybe if you needed a headlamp, you could get it right there. You already have a headlamp? Where's his remains going to be? Why is it darker in here now? It wasn't this dark last time. Wait, his body, his remains are in there. <laughs> At least it says it is. Wait, so they killed each other? Oh, maybe you have to clear that side too. I need to find more loose dynamite. It's literally darker in here now than it was before. 
I, I don't know, maybe it was just like a, a glitch or something. <sighs> don't tell me, there's none in here. We have to go back the other way. Come on. We got this. Unstable. There's some stable dynamite in this corner. Wait. Uh. Wait, what? No map for this location. Can I go down here? Oh, shoot. Wait, wait. Maybe you can get to the body from up here. Yep. Why'd his body show up here? Return to the entrance of the mine. Let me out. Oh, locate the mine elevator controls. Oh man, we're still not over yet. Ah, oh, geez. I'm just gonna run past some. Okay, re now return to Eleanor to learn more about the mine. Yes. Not all answers for investigation missions can be found in game. Don't hesitate to use your web browser to find these answers. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. They actually acknowledge it and they're like, hey, like, look it up. <laughs> That's cool. 
I feel like a, a lot of them can, but they're they're also like, don't be afraid. All right, chat. Uh, I'm going to call it right here because I'm going to go hit the gym for the first time in a while. So um, Tuesdays and Thursday nights on stream are going to be shorter nights around 930. Um, rest of the nights I'll go until like about 10, 1030 most of the time. So I will be back tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be picking up right here, going back in, talking to Eleanor, and then going from there. So for now, thank you guys as always. I hope you all have a good rest of your night. I pretty much have to head out, so uh, peace out, stay safe. And uh, yeah, if you want to see the other parts, they're all on YouTube already. Part one and part two is there. And then I'll have to put up part three sometime this weekend. So feel free. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Good night. Have a good one. See you guys next time. Adios and goodbye.